Yo, what's up guys? You know, last time on the pod, we talked about the emergence of AI and how different categories of people react to it. But we also mentioned that regardless of the category you find yourself falling into, there's a predictable pattern of behavior that society as a whole falls into when navigating new technology. Now, what is this pattern of behavior and how does it prove that society or history keeps repeating itself over and over time and time again well if you're ready then i'm good for it you're welcome to the purple pill podcast now let's get into it so here's the scoop guys we have learned over time that society has a way of responding in three phases each time something new announces itself on board it could be a breakthrough in science could be a new fangled technology, it could be a new thought in philosophy, but whatever it is, the way we process it is in three stages. Now, the first stage, this first stage is the magpie stage. The magpie is a bird that has developed a notorious reputation for being easily distracted by shiny things. The magpie would drop whatever it is legitimately doing and chase after the nearest shiny object. Although this theory about the magpie has been disproven by scientists and biologists, it appears to be a reputation that has just stuck to the magpie. But apparently, that bird is not the only creature that is obsessed with shiny things. Human beings are too, and I'm not talking jewelry. Humans are quick to hop on the next trend, the next most exciting technology, and we drop every other thing we have been engaged in and we jump on the bandwagon it's the shiny thing effect right now that shiny thing is ai and guess who are the culprits driving this narrative on social media on countless youtube videos twitter posts ai this ai that it's the fanatics remember the fanatics from last week's pod yes they actively drive it because they are the early adopters of technology and naturally the fiery advocates of it. It's the shiny thin effect. Now, after the magpie stage is the panic stage, stage two. Yes, this is the point where people start to raise concerns about the ethical use of AI, safety, security issues now come to the fore. This is bound to happen because as AI evolves, and people find more use cases for it, some will use it to do bad things. And as they do so and people are impacted by it, there will be more cries for regulation, for government control, for whatnot, for a restriction on the use of AI. It has happened to cryptocurrency and it is bound to happen to artificial intelligence. In fact, we're gradually moving into that phase now. And guess who will be the people pushing that panic button? Remember the people from last week's spot, right? The skeptics. Yes, the skeptics will be at the forefront. They'll be the ones saying, I told you so. AI is bad. Somebody gets shot, AI caused it. Somebody crosses the road and gets hit by a runaway cab driver, it's AI. AI this, AI that. That's the panic stage. At the equilibrium stage, stage three, this is where everything balances itself out. AI becomes an indispensable part of our lives. It has become a factor of production and all the kinks have been straightened out. We've seen a good use case for it and humanity can now progress. We have achieved equilibrium. The war between man and machine has ended or maybe it has just begun. After all, who knows? Well, no one knows the future except God and in actuality, life is not red or blue is purple.